नमस्कार ग्रेट मैन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं कोविड 19 महामारी के इस दौर में मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि आपका परिवार पूरी तरह सुरक्षित है स्वस्थ है और बच्चों ने लॉकडाउन में बहुत एंजॉय किया अब मैं आपका सपोर्ट चाहता हूं इस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में बच्चों की शिक्षा को हम अब स्टार्ट करते हैं और बहुत ही जल्द जो भी आपका बैकलॉग है हम उसको क्लियर भी करेंगे और एक नए तरीके से आपकी शिक्षा अब स्टार्ट होने वाली है पेरेंट्स का हमें पूरा सपोर्ट चाहिए आप लोग पिछले दस सालों से लगातार हमें सपोर्ट करते आए हैं और मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि अगर हम और आप मिलकर चाहेंगे तो बच्चों की शिक्षा का कोई नुकसान नहीं होने वाला है और हमें और आपको मिलकर अब एक रीस्टार्ट करना है नाउ लेट्स रीस्टार्ट बेस्ट ऑफ लक नमस्कार हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज दिशा कृपलानी एंड आई विल बी टीचिंग यू साइंस फॉर ग्रेड थ्री चैप्टर वन इज फूड एंड फीडिंग हैबिट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स सो वाई डू वी नीड फूड वी मीन्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द लिविंग थिंग्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू टेल मी वॉट ऑल आर द लिविंग थिंग्स अराउंड यू लिविंग थिंग्स आर ह्यूमन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो इफ वी एज द चैप्टर इज अबाउट एनिमल्स वील टॉक अबाउट animals why do animals need food if this question arises the answer will be animals need food to grow to stay healthy for example we can say that if they not, if they will not eat food what will happen to them they will not grow properly if we take an example of a stray dog a stray dog is a dog which lives on street and a pet dog a pet dog lives with humans so if i talk about a stray dog and a pet dog which one is healthier obviously a pet dog why because pet dog is always getting food enough food to eat but a stray dog always struggles to get food so uh, if they will not eat food how they'll grow so to grow food is very important so why animals need food animals need food to grow to stay healthy one more thing that animals also get take food to get energy to do work as they eat food they get energy to do work okay so next is from where they get energy as you can see in the picture all the animals are dependent upon plant as you can see there is one deer and a lion deer is dependent upon plants because a deer eat plants and a lion eats deer yes so directly or indirectly both of the animals are depending upon the plants as you can see in the picture and this structure this is like a chain plant deer and lion and both of them depend upon the plants so this is like a chain structure and this is called a food chain okay so now we will divide all the animals according to their feeding habits means what they eat so there are three categories herbivores carnivores and omnivores as you can see in your book herbivores are the animals which eat plants yes they are plants eating animal you can see in the picture in the picture what all what two animals are being shown was first is cow and second is a giraffe they both eat plants so they these both animals are called herbivores second is carnivore a carnivore is an animal which depends on flesh which eats flesh the two examples you can see on the pictures are lion and tiger and the third category is omnivore they eat both plants and animals what you can see in the picture now that a crow and a bear they eat both plants and animals 
humans also falls in this category humans are also called omnivores humans means i am talking about us we are omnivore we eat plants as well as animals okay the next topic is food for domestic animals so now tell me what are domestic animals domestic animals are the animals which lives with human as you can see in the picture what all uh, domestic animals are being shown like uh, elephant horse oxen and why they are called domestic animals because they are being used for the human work human work means horse and ox you can see horse and elephant both are used for uh, as horse is being used for riding and uh, elephant is being is used to carry loads and oxen is used to work on the fields with the farmer so they they are being used for human work so that's why they are called domestic animals as some of the animals like elephant horse donkey they are being used to carry loads and work for the humans so they need energy giving food what are the two energy giving food for them oats and fodder and other animals like cow buffalo goat these are milk producing animals so they need milk producing food and what all are milk producing food grass and oil seed cakes as you can see in the picture now we'll study about how animals feed means how do they eat they have some different habits of eating in this first category is some of the animals swallow their food whole means they eat food fully it means swallowing it for example you can see in the picture a frog and a snake is being shown a snake can eat or swallow a full frog and a frog can swallow a full insect okay next category is some of the animals those eat meat or flesh or tear and chew flesh so which all the animals will come in this category like lion and dog as you can see in the picture they have very sharp pointed and curved front teeth to tear and chew the flesh the third category is some of the animals gnaw their food it's g n a w the word is gnaw it means to eat something repeatedly and chew it and chew it hard as you can see in the definition so what are the there are the two animals you must have seen they gnaw their food first is a squirrel and second animal is a rabbit as you can see in the picture they gnaw their food they bite something repeatedly again and again and chew it hard the next category will be animals who eat grass and chew cud what is the meaning of cud a cud is something that they bring it again in their mouth i'll explain it have you seen a cow or a buffalo eating grass as you can see in the picture they are eating grass and they swallow grass they don't eat it but they swallow it they take it inside and after some times when they are sitting somewhere quietly they bring that food again to their mouth and chew it and this food is called cud so these are the animals which eat grass and chew cut as you can see in the picture the last category is animal that lap milk or water you can see in the picture uh, as a cat or a dog they lap milk or water with their tongue so these are the five categories of the animals and some different feeding habits of animals now we'll talk about some other insects and animals and their feeding habits as you can see in the picture first one is an elephant an elephant uses its trunk to have food and a shower second is an earthworm earthworm 
shallows soil next is a butterfly butterfly how does it take food it suck nectar from the flower and next is a leech or a mosquito what they do they suck blood understood so these were some of the insects and animals and their different different feeding habits now the last topic of the chapter is domestic animals need care as we are there we need care and protection same as domestic animals also need care and protection uh, protection i mean they also need care and protection and how can you care for them how can you protect them you can clean their shelters you can give them food and water in the clean utensils and you can care for them and this is the way domestic animals are being cared and be protected by you so <clears throat> next time when you'll see a dog a stray dog near you what you'll do you will give them some food okay okay so this is this was the end of the chapter i hope you have you would have understood the chapter fully and if you have any doubt again and again you can see this video this video will be available here some assignment or i can say homework is given to you it is there attached in the description box with the answers of uh, exercises and question answers you can see them refer them and study as the lockdown time is going on uh, stay at home take care of yourself wash your hands again and again and study thank you